looking at this gutter because the power line runs right along it. So I don't like that. But then I came over to the shed just to see if how hard it would be for me to break in. Because we already checked this and it's padlocked and I don't have the key, but it's actually open. So this is the first time I will be opening this shed up. If I can get this unlocked padlock off. I have no idea what's in here. Hoping there's not a ton of garbage in here. Ah, hi people. Okay, well, I needed some of that drainage tubing, so that's good news. Got some sprinklers, shingles, more storm windows. What's that little thing? Clearly some kind of vent. Hmm. I don't know, I guess I'll check it out later. And a shirt. Hope it's a church shirt. It's... What? It's a beer shirt? It is a slutty oh okay it's just cut in half i thought it was cut in a v-neck with the back cut out but still super funny to find bud king of beers t-shirt at the church so i spent most of the day today outside cleaning the gutters and the roof off and i just came inside and i'm bringing you guys inside the restroom because i want to show you something uh, remember when I took you for the tour of the church and I brought you in here and said in this corner I'm going to have a soaking tub. Well, I got something else. It's a soaking tub, but it's not what I was thinking. I was thinking like the modern, like egg-shaped um, soaking tubs, but I am always looking for deals and trying to lower costs on projects. And I love antique stuff. So, this is what I did. Claw foot tub. My amazing camera work here. Um, yeah. And, got my nose peers. You can't tell, but it's actually two. There's a stud and hoop. I love it, I think it looks really cool. Claw foot tub, yes. I've had a claw foot tub before, and they are the absolute best, and let me tell I thought, hold on, let's read, let, let me fix this. So let's talk antique clawfoot tub versus modern soaking tub. First of all, it's a little shaky. This baby is cast iron. If you know anything about cast iron, you know that it holds heat very well. So the best thing about these tubs, besides that they just look really cool, and they feel really nice, is they hold the heat. So once you fill this tub up with hot water, it's going to hold its heat. And you don't have to keep uh, what I do when I soak in like an acrylic tub, like a modern plastic tub. I don't have to drain water out because I soak for a while sometimes. Drain the water out and add more hot water like a few times. But uh, with these, as long as they're not too cold to begin with, once you fill them with hot water, you're good for like an hour or two. Doesn't I mean indefinitely. I'm actually in it backwards right now. Oh. Guys, this is my first time in it, getting in it properly. It fits me perfect. It's just my size. All right, so we we discussed. Wait, let me zoom or So we've discussed the benefits of cast iron. Also, let's talk about when you're renovating and how much the project costs over what you estimate it to cost. You always end up spending more. There's just things that you don't think about, things that you have to have. So whenever you can, like for instance, the cheapest soaking tub that I could find for what I like, $700. I bought this tub from Craigslist, no, Facebook Marketplace, which I find to be a little safer. Is that true or not? I, I think so, because you can see the people where they live, whatever, people you have friends in common. I think it's a little safer. Anyway, I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $100. I saved $600 right there. And I love it way more than anything I would have bought from Amazon or home improvement store. 
So I already have it sanded down. Um, the bottom I'm going to be painting black. The inside I'm going to be repainting white. I wanted to do the hardware. I wanted like a really rustic, like raw brass, like something maybe you'd see outside, you know, like your garden hose or something, but I just couldn't find anything. I found a couple um, little like spigots today, but I would have really had to fabricate something weird to get them to fit on there properly. And so in the end, I just, because this project is important, I gotta hurry and get this done. I just bought um, the cloth -a tub faucet that they had at the home improvement store and it's chrome, <laughs> which is probably my least favorite of the finishes right now, but you know what? It's gonna be cool, fine, I'll just, I'll make it work. The paint kit I bought for this is made by Rust-Oleum. It's, it's a tub uh, epoxy paint, like a two-part paint. And you know what, it was 20 bucks for the paint and it'll be like new. I considered doing the feet like gold or metallic finish or something different but I think I'm just gonna do black and then you know if I feel frisky later and I think I want a little something a little flashy down there I'll paint it later on a scale of 0 to 10 how happy am I with this it's a 10 <laughs>